Meet Phil Edwards, the BNP's national press officer. Party members call him the Doc, on account of the fact he has a PhD. This is the Doc talking about black people. It's not a question of whether we like or dislike them, it's a question or not of whether they, as a, a racial group, are of any danger, shall we say, to the, to the peace, stability and the indigenous culture of Britain, and we think that they are. When you go to work and you pay taxes, imagine paying all that tax to give money to single parents in London who've got three or four black kids. Well, because the black kids are going to grow up dysfunctional, low IQ, low achievers, a drain on welfare benefits from the prison system, and probably go and mug you. The point of the matter is this, that people in black or sub-Saharan Africa have been not um, under the same, shall we say, pressures of selection that, that we have in this part of the world and that has made on average uh, our people slightly more intelligent. Now that can be seen quite clearly uh, if you look at say the history of uh, black Africa. I mean there have been certainly no great civilizations that have ever formed in sub-Saharan Africa, no great science, no great... I mean, for instance, to put it crudely, there's no black Mozart, is there? There's no black Dickens. I, mean, I don't want to knock the black people, but you've asked me these questions, and I'm, I'm being quite honest with you. I want to say the black woman, because I don't find them physically attractive. I've never really seen like, an actual Afro-Caribbean woman. I've never seen a physically attractive Afro-Caribbean woman. The yeah, woman is got, Halle Berry. They've got bubble lips, big noses. Beautiful lips, beautiful noses. Halle Berry, she's gorgeous, man. I don't think Halle Berry is beautiful, you know? No, I just don't find blacks attractive. I don't think a lot of lads do. I like black like women in general. Nice asses. Well, I disagree. Good I mean, energy. You know, I have seen Ricky Lake and I know what it's all about. Yeah. But <laughs> Ricky Lake. Gr grossly, grossly obese black women in bikinis thinking they look good. It's not. <laughs> It's like what I said. It's like what I said in the Guardian. You know, I said, "What about Lenny Henry? He's got a white wife." And I said, "Look, it's not ideal." Well, I wouldn't have sex with Dawn French, would you? Yeah, she's got huge tits. Yeah, and she should funny. also should also have to fart regularly for you to find her funny. Mm. Oh, mate! What do you call Camp Excalibur then? What's all that about? Excalibur. Well, basically, Camp Excalibur is basically a weekend where young people get together, shoot each other with paintball guns, go canoeing, get a little bit beard up, and have a good laugh. It's, it's affordable for any kids, it's only 10 quid. So, where else can like working class kids come and do paintball and canoeing, abseil and climbing, all that stuff? Have a good laugh for 10 quid for a weekend. Oh, that's the thing, why they, but, you know, we're helping black, people. If black kids want to go. Well, you know what I mean? They can't. Susie Cass works as a fitness instructor. Nick's politics affect even the most fundamental areas of family life. In my birth plan, um, you, you write down exactly how you want your birth to go and, um, you know, your, your requests and your wishes. And um, one of my requests was that I wanted, you know, a white European midwife. And what happened? I actually was given um, a, a Caribbean lady midwife and I had to ask if they didn't mind to find another midwife. What was, it, what was it about it that didn't make you feel comfortable? Well, I just wanted a, a white midwife. But for, for what reason? Because I'm white. You know, yeah, it was being a bit, it was being awkward. Was that, was that your idea or was it Nick's idea? What do you think? You tell me. <laughs> it was Nick's idea. I've got Sharon Davis' favourite, but I've actually changed it now. And uh, Frank Bruno's mum. Frank Bruno's mum. He's a fucking black bastard, like... There's no need to try you. Get straight on the burn. Devil said my little road. Any last words? Hang on. He says he isn't a drug dealer. Just burn him. He thinks he's not you black. He's, he's, <laughs> he's charged with being black. Yeah, get on there. You're really covered.
us. Hey, we ain't no fucking enemy. Sir, and why are you here today? I'm here to protest, right? Because I'm going on a march because I want Britain to be back British. I want Britain to be back British. We've got interracial law. They're trying to put the Iraqi law down on, on, on London. And we, we can't stand for that. 